Good evening. I have got a green lens on the end of this uh, compact binocular so that we can see the moon. Even though it's green, we can at least see it without it being like a great big light bulb. So if you're wondering why it's this color, that's why. Because they have um, made it to where I can't um, really focus on this moon that well. See, because if I didn't have this filter, it would turn into a great big light bulb. Uh, so now I've got a green filter on this um, camera. And it's cold out here. I, I, I wanted to try this out before I went in there and I've got a jacket. So yeah, this is, this is the full moon. Is this the full moon? I'm not sure if this is the full moon tonight or is it uh, tomorrow night? I can't, I'm not, sh hello, hello to everyone and good evening. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the full moon tonight. Hello, Polly Temple. Um, hello, Vicki. Hello to everyone. Um, I'm sorry about the green color of this moon, but this is the only way now with this new update that has happened uh, that I can get this moon without it being a great big blur. <laughs> yeah, it might look good, but it's a little, um, it's a little green. Wow, look at the things below it, how it's moving like that, the atmosphere. That's pretty neat looking. I think the moon is um, going up. It's going up the screen. Um, and since this moon is going up the screen, we can watch it go up little by little. Um, hello, Thelma Tan from the Philippines. Hello, Daryl. Hello to everyone. We've got a green moon <laughs> because I've got a green lens on here. I hope the lens doesn't fall off, but if it does, well, you'll notice it because it will have a great big bright light bulb. <laughs> I had to tape the green lens onto the front end of my um, binoculars because it's not quite the size that will fit inside of it. Hello, Maria. Um, yeah. Um, when is the full moon? Because I'm not able to keep up with that. I know it's this weekend. I'm, I think it's this weekend. Um, hello, Rita. Um, yeah. Hello, Roxana from Chile. I'm going to shrink it down a tad bit. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to touch that lens. I really don't. Uh, yeah, I went to film the moon at Carrie. And um, this filter is on there in order to see it. Hello from one Calvin to another. Hello, Vivian uh, Calvin. You probably are related to me. <laughs> oh, tonight's the night of the full moon. I think that's absolutely wonderful. That is wonderful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. You have some pictures of the red moon. Oh, that would be interesting. Hello, Ahmed uh, El Ghani. A good night to you. You know, my outdoor security light, uh, all of a sudden, since my son's been here and he's left, uh, it's it's been going on and off and blinking really fast and then changing colors. And it's a one color security light. So I don't know what's up with this security light outside. I had to put in another light uh, to light my driveway. Okay, there goes a patrol plane across the sky and it's completely silent. But it is not a normal patrol plane. This has like one yellow light. And it's silently going across the sky down the, uh, the patrol line. It's the hunter's moon. What happened? Uh, I have a green lens on here so we can see the moon. Because without this green lens, um, now when I do my Facebook lives and I zoom up, uh, we can no longer see the color of the moon. It turns into a big light bulb. So yeah, I don't know where the face of the moon went. Is this normal to see it like this? Uh, is this the normal color of the moon? Let me see if I can make this any clearer. I've got to turn these, see that makes it fuzzier. But 
I'm, I'm doing this middle thing. Um, that's about as clear as we can get it. If I can like do it some more. No, um, I don't think I can get it any clearer. So I'm gonna shrink it back down. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is a, a nice full moon tonight. Uh, it's the hunter's moon. Um, and I, I would like to tell every one of you, if you have an iPhone and your phone has a update, waiting for you to update to 13, beta 13.1.2, don't do it. Because uh, you, the, the biggest uh, parts that they changed was the photos and the camera. And do you know they had like, uh, I think around eight updates that they sent back to back within a couple days and do you know what they unsigned every single one of those updates today uh so that you cannot uh, go back to the, an earlier version they unsigned it today because last night or a couple nights ago i was looking to restore my phone to an earlier update and it was available but now they're all unsigned so you can't you cannot go back once you oh my gosh there's some kind of a nail sticking up in this porch um, you can't go back, and uh, if you want to turn off that automatic updates, um, first you want to go to your, your settings and where your name is at the top of your settings. You want to click on your name, and um, I think you go uh, to your uh, iCloud or something. I don't know. you got to turn off Find My Phone. You don't want that on there. I don't have nothing to look at, but you want to turn off. Go find out how you turn off that feature on your phone whoa that says find my phone because you don't want them to find your phone and you want to disable the automatic updates i think you do go into general or in your settings and you uh, go to your apps your itunes apps and you turn off that automatic update or you're going to get that 13.12 uh, updated on your phone and you're not going to be too happy <laughs> i have an iphone 8 um, and I'm not too happy about uh, the update uh, that it did, so I won't. I will not get any more updates. Hola, Baldomero, Vizaka, Buenoit, Romi. Um, yeah. So we are looking at the full moon, and I'm sure there is a symbolic spiritual meaning to tonight's full moon. Um. But I didn't get to read up on it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it, I love this color. Um, hello, Sandra Co Cochran. How are you? I can see some of the names every now and then when I look at here. Um, that's why you have an Android. Yeah, my son has an, uh, I think he has an Android. And he uh, likes Androids. He was trying to... Um, he was going to set my phone back to an earlier version, but they have it to where you cannot, unless you backed up all your data in iTunes, uh, when you still had the older version. And the older version got saved, or you backed it up in something else. Uh, you cannot go back to an, another version now. They won't let you. So that's a big B-U-M-M-E-R, a Hunter Moon. Um... Hola, Adeste, Colombia, George. Hola, Adeste, Cancun, Mexico. Ricardo, I went to Cancun in June and I loved it. Me and my sister went for my niece's wedding uh, and it was absolutely wonderful. And I think we might do that every year. Go back to Cancun uh, for a trip to the same resort. Uh, regards from uh, Panama. Hello. I hope we're still here. We are still here and that's wonderful. And I do apologize if you're thinking, why does that moon look that color? Well, I had to put a green lens on the front of my um, uh, 
compact binoculars because uh, for now on this shows up way too bright like a light bulb to where you cannot uh, film it. Saludos, muchas gracias, por favor, Lynn Marie. Uh, no hay de que. <laughs> yeah. Um, hello, Larian. I want to see if we can like zoom in on this some more. I might be able to go to my YouTube channel, maybe do a live video of the moon there too, since I can get it without it looking like a big light bulb. <laughs> it is a beautiful evening. It's cold out here. I think it's probably around 50 right now. My nose is cold. Um, and I got long sleeves, but I don't have a jacket on. There's so many patrolling airplanes in the sky. Um, uh, this is the moon uh, in Salem, Indiana. And um, I think I am going to look up uh, the um, symbolic meaning, meaning of all the towns with Salem named Salem and how they align up. Um, they could be lining up along the UFO highway. If you did not know that there is a UFO hilo, I think, highway, I think it is the parallel, 37th parallel. Uh, if someone knows the exact parallel of the UFO highway, you know, it'd be nice if you all could share that with us. Um, Salvador, you're from uh, Mexico. Um, yeah. Well, see now, if I didn't have a filter, it'd be a big light bulb. And you know, that should not be. It should not show up like that, but it does, which is quite strange. Um, Burr, hello, Patty. And um, hello to everyone on here. Tonight is the Hunter Moon. So uh, if anyone knows the exact parallel where that UFO highway is, because it literally stretches from one end of the country uh, to the other and around the world, I think. Um, Alejandro, uh, we're just watching the, the moon tonight, the hunter's moon. Um, and if you're commenting, guess what? The comments have been frozen. Yeah, hello, uh, David. Burr. I don't know if we can zoom in. Uh, there were some areas, you know, when it's brown, when it's the normal colors, thank you for those hearts. See, it would normally be a big white bulb until they changed it uh, to make it look like this. And we could zoom up and see the white areas on the moon. We can uh, almost see some of them right there. Yeah, I can like zoom in on a little bit of them but not too well. Look, here's some white areas too. What are these white areas on the moon? That's quite interesting. Um, sending love and light. That's always welcome. Let me see this. <laughs> the big green moon. That's okay. It is quite all right. Um, so, um, is anyone on here sure of what parallel the UFO highway is? Is it the seventh, thirty-seventh parallel around the world? Give or take um, twenty miles, maybe either side. And if the and if the Earth is tilting on its axis, axis, well then um, it would um, would cause that highway to have more um, things. Um, no, I am not going to show the moon without the filter because it turns out as a great big light bulb, and I'm not taking this filter back off. Uh, you can see if I go down what it would look like without the filter. It's going to just be a big light bulb. Let me do this. 
that's what it's going to look like right there without the filter. So I don't even have to take the filter off, but that's exactly what it's going to look like. And uh, just last week, whenever I filmed the moon last, it used to be brown, and I could see it just perfect. That's why I love doing Facebook Live. But now, since they made changes, uh, I'm not able to do that. Because of it. Uh, yeah, I do believe there's something to Salem. Oh, you, you're from Salem, Ohio, and when you was a kid, your mom and you witnessed ships. She told me to be quiet about it because no one would believe us and think we were uh, Jennifer Engel. Yeah. Um, Bojan Highway 375 from Crystal Springs in Nevada. Um, yeah. Oh, I hear a how an owl going. Ooh, 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 ooh. I haven't heard one for a long time. Oh um. uh, well, you're you're welcome, Doris. Um. Uh, does anyone have the time? Oh. Isn't that the road to Area 51? I've been on that UFO. Uh, no, I, oh, you're talking about that place in Nevada, Kerry Amar. Uh, it's a whole town dedicated to extraterrestrials, and it's, it's in a dry, desolate area. It's really weird, too. My husband used to work at the uh, Tonopah test range uh, in Nevada and that's where the area 51 was near and they would um, participate in exercises with uh, different militaries around the world and of course it was top secret oh 937 oh. thank you uh, Joyce I guess if I had a, a brown filter on, we would see it in brown. But without a filter, I'm sorry, it's not going to show up anymore. For a, not a nice reason. Yeah. Can you all hear the owl too? I think that's wonderful. Now that outdoor security light came on. That's so strange. Thank you for those hearts flying up that screen. Puerto Rico. I'm going to have to go get my coat on because it is absolutely cold out here. Um, I can't see the time either. A little cold. Well, I made it back. It is, it's 50 degrees. Look at the moon, how it's changed colors. Um, yeah, it's hard to keep that color on there. <laughs> yeah, we have coyotes out here also. Burr, it's freezing. Um, Hello, Denny. Ooh. 
Yeah, um, I've had to pull out my uh, winter clothes also. Well, I'm probably going to be getting off of here, and um, I'm supposed to get rid of that from my vocabulary. I'm probably going to be ending this video and maybe attempt again to do a live video on my YouTube channel because I have not done a live video in a long time with the moon or any outdoor thing. So thank you all for uh, watching this with me. I am going to go over to my YouTube channel, and if you're saying, well, what is her YouTube channel? Uh, if you go to my homepage, it's on the left-hand side uh, below my picture. It has my uh, YouTube channel on it. You just click on there and you can see it. So um, I hope everyone has a, a wonderful evening. A wonderful, wonderful evening.